Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for coming in. Come clean with with everything that's, that's going on here. Clear up the rumors, okay? So I felt guided to do this. So I'm getting emails from trolls. Kind of had some stuff that I I wanted to to talk about. This is what happened. As you might have heard, I make a living harassing people. I'm about to drop hot bars. You are not my equal. My videos speak for themselves. They don't need a sequel. My subs accept my paywall. They are brainless sheeple. Libraries are a very easy target for me. I terrorize everyone in sight with the lovely sweet tea. Don't touch my equipment or you will remember fondly. Me bursting into tears as I scream, don't touch me, lady. The rhymes of Lil Cordova are not so quick forgotten. Just like his money that is clearly ill-gotten. United States versus Cordova is my legacy. All the trolls are envious, they want to be me. They laugh at me, they are having fun. But it doesn't matter because I'm better than anyone, anyone, anyone. I am the best auditor out there. Screw the trolls, I don't care. I am the next Rosa Parks. I don't do this for fun. I'm better than anyone, anyone. I am the best auditor out there. Screw the trolls, I don't care. I am the next Rosa Parks. I don't do this for fun. I'm better than anyone, anyone, anyone. Okay, let's go. You don't know how hard it is to be an auditor. Every day you have to look at yourself in the mirror, being the smartest guy in every room, while being chased out with a broom. CRS 420-11-8. My flow hits harder than you'll ever be able to take. I'm 0 for 4, soon to be 0 for 5. My bars hit hard. I'm the hottest shit alive. If you touch my camera, I'll drop to my knees. I'll run to the cops faster than you can say cheese. Don't you dare criticize me. I'm the mile high auditor. My flow is on fire. I'm the ball hitter. Get Benson in here. I'll be dropping her. Don't hurt my feelings. I'll run to the first officer. My cardigan drip will always be on. And that's because I'm better than anyone, anyone, anyone. I am the best auditor out there. Screw the trolls, I don't care. I am the next Rosa Parks. I don't do this for fun. I'm better than anyone, anyone. I am the best auditor out there. Screw the trolls, I don't care. I am the next Rosa Parks. I don't do this for fun. I'm better than anyone, anyone. I'm better than anyone, 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 anyone. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? How are you guys doing? Happy Sunday, everyone. All right, so we have a couple of things to talk about today. Eli is getting sued for five million bucks, and there's a very good reason for it. It's not an imaginary low suit like Chili. Eli done fucked up, as he would like to say. And um there's uh, obviously the other reason why we're here is to raise money for charity. The charity that you guys have chosen is Feeding America, and I'll go over that in just a moment. But before we do that, I wanted to share this video that I literally found 10 minutes ago, and I thought it was hilarious. And you know why? Because this video really reminds me of Fraud at Wrangler. Check this out, okay? I'm just going to play it. There's copyrighted music, so I'm playing like a split second just so I don't get a copyright claim on the video. But um, take a look at this, all right? How long you been practicing? How long you been practicing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How long you been practicing this scam? Yeah. Play Mary Had a Little Lamb. Play, play one note. Play one note. Play anything. This is a scam. You're pretending to play. Oh, then play something right now without the music. Ready, go. You're a fraud. You're a fraud. I'm going to expose you on social media. You're this guy is such a douche. Thank you for what? <laughs> Stealing from people? Yo, he's such a douchebag. He's pretending to be like a pro viol uh, violin player. Like, what a douche. Look at this guy. And it's all fake. It's all fucking fake. 
Really? Yo, I had no idea that these people actually exist, man. You have to be a, a special kind of piece of shit to pretend to be like a really good musician, man. Anyway, look at this douchebag. <laughs> What's up, Black Heart Knight? What's up, Fraudators Exposed? All right. Anyways, on to the topic of hand. Uh, like, yeah, I was mind blown. I had no idea that this shit existed. Uh, but anyway, let me just show you one thing real quick. So, um, yeah, the real reason, the two main reasons why we're here is to roast Eli and to raise money for Feeding America. So this is the live stream. Uh, if you go over here on the right, it says 102 bucks raised. I dropped the first 50 to get the ball rolling. If you want to donate, uh, you can either click here and it says donate. Or if you go down here, it'll show you all the info. And the organizer is Feeding America. All the money goes uh, straight to Feeding America through YouTube. So it doesn't, it doesn't even go on my account. It goes straight to uh, Feeding America. And this is the only way to do a legit fundraiser. Because you putting someone's PayPal or Super Chat, that's not a legit way to make a fundraiser. Um, and this way, YouTube doesn't take any cuts. So 100% of the money that you donate will go to Feeding America. And it's crazy that there's still a lot of people that go hungry. So let's try to change that. Let's try to do something um, you know, positive. And uh, if you can, that's great. If not, no worries. Just enjoy the show. So now that I put that out there, let's continue with... Um, with the show all right just a second i'm going to play the video yeah i'm so surprised sally that this was a thing i can't believe it i can't believe that someone would pretend to be a violinist and just like wow just just wow what a scammer and if you guys heard the piece the piece was so good um all right here it goes What's up, Nicole? Nicole's here in the house. Hi, yeah, all right. We're about to watch Eli totally fuck himself. Oh, Eli is such an idiot. Yeah, he really fucked up now. All right. All right, here it goes. Yeah, so you fell for it, right? You thought it was a real violinist? I, I thought he was. I was like, wow, he's so good. He's so good. And this and this is one of Nicole's favorite songs. It's yeah. uh, Bayando. No, Despacito. Oh, it's Despacito? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was Bayando. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he, he's so... that That's so scummy. Hi, Muzan. Hi, uh, Tim Hicks. Yeah, what's up, man? We have a lot of people in here. Oh, you see, sorry, you can't donate in this country or region yet. But where are you? Where are you from? You're muted. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, playing that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Why right, does it show something? Yeah. Okay. Anonymous donated twenty bucks to Feeding America. AZ, awesome. And Black AZ Widow. Black Widow Black Widow donated five, so we can see that it's working. Thank you so much, you guys. Anonymous donated another one. All right, so I guess I have to look at it. Let's see. Okay, it comes up on my studio. So I'll keep an eye on the studio and I'll be uh, giving the shout outs. Thank you so much. Last year, we were able to re uh, raise 1532 bucks. Mm -hmm. So this time, we have a lot more people, but let's try to raise at least that. Yeah, that would be. Thank you for your generosity. Yeah, thank you very much, and everybody. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Paul. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, continue. Let's. So this is what happened. Um, Eli really fucked up. Basically, he's getting sued for five million bucks for review bombing. So he decimated uh, the business owner's review just because he got butt hurt uh, because the business owner used his freedom of speech, his First Amendment. You know, the First Amendment auditors absolutely hate the First Amendment. So he got majorly butt hurt and destroyed his his uh, reviews nice, online yeah. very despicable and um and black heart knight didn't i donated 20 dollars to the oh, charity thank you so much thank black so heart much, knight black and knight. thank you so much gator bait yeah i'll be keeping an eye and giving out the shout out thank you so much you guys you guys are great uh all right so let me play this i blurred the business the business's name is heard a couple of times throughout the video 
but I'm going to do my best to minimize any exposure to of the business's name because that business has been through enough. So with that out of the way, let's watch it. Oh, and just to let you guys know, if you're eating right now, Creepy David is in the, yeah, video, in the video. So it's you gross. might want to eat later or just change the channel. Don't change the channel, but you know what I mean. It's a manipulated society. You gonna make it out. The rich is getting richer. Are you gonna make it out? The poor is getting worse. Hello, everyone. This is BB Beltre, and I'm here with GGA E L Y, the people's guy. And this is the people's podcast for the peeps. With the peeps. By the peeps. Yay! What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's safe and sound, healthy above every single thing. By the way, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, comment, give us your feedback, because we are loving it, my peeps. Without you, this could not yes. be possible. Now, putting that to the side, how you guys been? I've been good. I've been working a lot. I need a vacation. Thank you so much. Paul Cohen donated 20 bucks to Feeding America. That is awesome. Thank you so much. As you guys see, harassing people really pays off because, I mean, that's a decent studio he has there. Um, not too sure about that mixing table. There's no simp, but, you know, it's a decent studio. So it's like, it looks like it's paying off. Looks like he has the fake brick over here. You know that shit you, you, you buy from China and you just paste it on the <laughs> yeah. walls? But but still, like you know, harassing, yeah, harassing people is really paying off for him. Oh word! Yes, <laughs> I've been grateful. No, no, it's not a green screen. I've seen this mixing table, and it's it's his house. And they're playing football. Working. No, it's his house. Um, and working for the, for the peeps. I can't believe BB says she needs a vacation because if you guys have been staying tuned in, y'all know we was out. Her, <laughs> she wants another one. You want another? I know, I do. It was short. It was short. It was too short, and I wanted out the country. You heard? <laughs> oh my god! It, he sounds like a cow when he says that. <laughs> he sounds like he's mooing. All right, thank you so much. Idol Eight donated ten to Feeding America. Az Black Widow donated twenty to Feeding America. How much are we at so far? Damn, it's... we are at two hundred. Awesome. Very, very Already two hundred. That's great. Awesome. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> well, I'm happy to um hear that you guys are fine. Um, but how are you? Yeah, what's up with you? Yo, did you did you read the title? Did you guys read yeah, the title? The chat today. <laughs> Yo, that's totally insane, my peeps. Total insanity. But um, yes, that's a fact. Um, they are suing me for five million dollars. And that was the thumbnail. He saw his face looking all stupid. What did you expect, dude? You completely destroyed a business. Yeah, okay. Hugh Hundle, thank you for donating 20 to Feeding America. And for everybody that's watching this after it's live, uh, you know, you can feel free to donate. And I, we really appreciate it. And the fundraiser week is going to be on until Saturday. And every single video is part of it. So, yeah, if you guys can, that's great. So yeah, five million bucks. Uh, let's continue. Five million dollars. Five milli. Somebody's trying five. to come up. Somebody's <laughs> trying to come up. Someone suing That's the people's guy. Crazy. They are suing the people's guy for five million dollars, my peeps. So um, Fuck. I have the paperwork over here. I was um served. Can we talk You've about it? Served. Of course, we're yeah, gonna talk about it. My info is the people's shit. info. You hear me? So whatever happens to me. The people must know because it has to do with one of our videos. Ooh. That's one thing I love about your channel where you do. It, there's a lot of transparency. Everything, you. of course, loud and clear for my peeps. Look, this that's what they happening. need. That's what we need. Vacations, okay? baseball, <laughs> everything whatever goes on in Eli's life. Man. Exactly, my entire life is the people's life as well. Is is a what? It's a movie. You it's heard. a movie. <laughs> it's a horror movie, probably. Yeah, horror movie. Oh, yeah, uh, Nicole, Eli did a show a couple days ago, and while he was rapping, he fell through the stage. Oh, <laughs> it's so sad. It's so cringe. Did he hurt himself? Yeah, yeah, I'll put it after. It's a movie. <laughs> it's a movie. That's what we're doing. So, yes, I am being sued, my peoples. I'm for $5 million. I'm not the only name on the lawsuit. Um, They are suing Google as well. Google? Well, Google is the first name on the lawsuit. <laughs> like, who thought of that? <laughs> the second name, the second name of the lawsuit, it's YouTube. 
YouTube. That's crazy. And the third name on the lawsuit is Eli, the people's guy. So this is where the guy kind of messed up. The person that's suing. There's no point in putting Google and YouTube in the lawsuit because they're not responsible. That's been established multiple times. They're not legally responsible for videos on their platform. It, it's been established more more times than necessary. So that's pointless. What's going to happen is like kind of like um, when what what's his, uh, what Chili? You know, was Chili trying to do his silliness? YouTube is going to be able to just put in a motion and get dropped from that immediately. Eli, however, will have to pay the consequences yeah, for his sure. actions. And he should. Also. Yeah, he should. When you're about to see, no, the lawsuit will not be tossed. That's not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is that YouTube and Google, which they're the same company, so it's silly to sue them both. Uh, they're gonna get. They're gonna just put in motion, and they're gonna be withdrawn from that because it has nothing to do with them. Eli is completely responsible. So yeah, that was a pointless move on the the plaintiff's part, but the rest of the lawsuit is still going to be valid. That's so um, to give you a better understanding of what, where, when, why, how, I hope um, if you've been staying tuned in to both of my both of my channels, you've probably seen the the tour that I gave you guys on um Artsley. On Artsley, my peeps. Mm. So um Artsley 1A tour right. was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Artsley Village 1A tour. Mm -hmm. Um I did gave you guys a tour over there. And um if you guys remembered, um your boy from Tick Tonic Builders. Mm. Do, do you remember that video? Yeah. I don't know if it's just oh look. you do have a good point. Maybe it could show Google and YouTube that uh you know <laughs> this channel is up to no good. Um, but yeah, so now this is what's about to happen. He's gonna have an encounter mm. with a police a uh, police officer, and then after he's gonna have the encounter with the business owner. And I blurred that part because you know he he's been through enough, like his business has been through enough. But yeah, check this Look out. Look at this. Paint the flowers on the floor. That's how they do it. Come on, man. Let's bring them up, my Let's bring them up. There you go. That's better, right, my peach? Yeah, that's better. That makes sense, Timothy. That makes a lot of sense. What else we got out here? Just looking for a confrontation. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it, it's funny how wow. he's just like prowling around. Like, yeah, who funny. can I fight? Yeah. Who can I beat up today? Who got over here? Yeah. Excuse me? Everything okay? Who are you again? Officer Mavra, Ardsley Police. Badge number? There goes that shitty editing again. Yeah, it's not close to everything okay? Good. Okay. Alright, just wondering. Alright, that's all. Alright, are you with anyone or like what? any organization? No, no, no. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Are you with any organization? Keep it moving. Or... Bye. You, I don't need you. What's that? I don't need you. I'm just asking if you're okay. I told you I'm okay and you're still you, here. You were, you were stumbling over there, so making sure you're okay. I was what? 
Look like you were. You speak. Do you, do you need an interpreter? I, I can have some. <laughs> yeah, give me an interpreter. Yes, so, okay. <laughs> sir. It's like I don't I don't think any interpreter will be able to fully understand yeah, it's like Eli. You need to find like someone that speaks hood. Like, yeah. Really bad hood. Yeah. Oh shit, man. You mean you do you speak English? Is that your kind of language or are you just ask for the interpreter? Okay. Can you meet me over at the firehouse? Not in my house. Uh. Everything's going, everything's okay today? Yeah, bring Ali G as, as interpreter. Yeah. I already answered too many questions. Bro. I need an interpreter. I was asking before because I, I, I'm, I'm talking to you, right? Oh, and you're yeah, understanding I'm what I'm saying, too. And you're calling, yeah, you, yeah, you're calling an interpreter. Or you keep asking me the same thing over and over and over again. And that means I need an interpreter. Okay, that's fine. And I'm just having another officer come here because it didn't seem like you were understanding what I was saying before. He cut something there. I wonder what was said. It was a very obvious cut. Mm -hmm. Very obvious. It's fine. I still know I can pass speak different languages. So. It's all right. Well, as long as you're okay, it's all that matters. That's it. You don't care about me, bro. Relax. And why do you say that? Why do you say I don't care about you? Because if you care about me, you'll be out there catching criminals. And I hear, bro, fuck my video up. Catching criminals? Yeah. Instead of well, I'm just asking you if you're okay. And I answered you like three hours ago, my G. I haven't been after three hours. I've been here for about five minutes. You know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, if, if you're still so understanding me now. No, yeah, no, no. I need an interpreter. You got me an interpreter like a racist prick. Now he's going to come and he's going to do his job. Yeah. I'm not being racist. I, when I was asking you questions before, and I answered you, you were reluctant to answer my questions. Reluctant. And I don't have to answer like nothing to you, my G. It didn't I don't owe you an explanation. What I was saying. I don't owe you an explanation. <laughs> okay. All right. As long as everything's fine. No, wait for the interpreter. Let him do his job. Let him come. Have a nice day. Stop playing with me, man. Should I wait here or no? You gonna have me wait here all night? You want me here all night? Do I wait for the interpreter or do I keep him moving? As long as you want. He's coming? You can wait as long as you Is he want. coming? Hey, trolling the trolls. Eli did swing at us. So you're 100% wrong. He took down a video because he was butthurt after he assaulted um, a veteran. Not even that. I don't think he wasn't even a veteran. He was an active duty soldier. He was in uniform. He just beat the shit out of a soldier. I called him out for it. And then he got majorly butthurt and did an illegal false copyright strike that we were able to reverse as usual. So, yeah, it's not a one way street, buddy. You can wait as long as you want. Is he coming? He's a prick, my pink. Dirty ass. That cop was hilarious. Man. Him, man. Yeah. Racist, my pink. So, guys, surprisingly, all of that had absolutely nothing to do with what's about to happen. It's just two yeah, completely yeah. unrelated incidents that happened within minutes of each other. And just... even on can't bully a bully, so... Say what? No. Oh, you can't bully a bully? <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. No, Eli is the worst, man. Eli goes around, beats up people, and gets monetized for it. It's, it's fucking crazy. It's insane. He just goes, everybody that has, that uses their First Amendment against him, the thing he's allegedly trying to protect, he'll put down the camera, he'll walk on his hands a couple feet, and then he'll say, let's fight. You know, he, he's a maniac. He deserves to be institutionalized with padded room, ideally. Yeah, he's waving at him. <laughs> See you in the funny papers, Mike. Me. Excuse me? You heard me. No, I didn't hear you. I said, don't be filming me. You talking to me? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. What happened? Don't be filming me. Why are you talking to me then? Fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. You heard what I said? No, say it again. You heard me. Say it again. That's a company, right? That's the reputation you're going to give this company? 
Is that the reputation you give in this company? Is this company on Google? Do you guys have reviews? Do you have reviews? Expect to hear from my people. Oh, fuck yourself. All right, so now a couple things happened. The guy grabbed his balls and said, go fuck yourself. So that was pretty funny. But like I said, I'm going to blur it. Um, and he said, do you have Google reviews? Are you on the Internet? So there's there's him threatening to put negative reviews. Absolutely. And it was not just a threat, as we're about to see in just a moment. He pulled it off. He executed his threat. Check this out. Tectonic builders, my people. Heard? That's what they got over here. <laughs> Exposed. Yeah, yeah. And, and this isn't even the original video. In the original video, he probably gave the link and yeah, went more into detail yeah. how to leave nasty reviews. Now, let me show you what happened to this business. Give me a second. I want to make sure that I want to make sure that okay. How can I blur this out? Could you erase it out? No, ah, oh, it's all like that. Shit. You can't like pull it up, bro. No, I can't pull it. Oh man! If I go view all Google reviews, oh shit. Yeah, I guess I, I can't really share screen it because they'll just show the name of the business. And I wouldn't want trolls that are watching this. Now here, pull up another page and cover it up. Oh, okay, okay. Another page? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, that's a good idea. Here, let me just hide this here, put this here, and... Is that gonna work? Yeah, because I I don't want any of the. Yeah, that should work. But then when I click there, it's gonna move. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah. So, Anyways, I'll just show a couple. That didn't work. I'll just show a couple. All right. So this business got. It's in the background. Hold on. Yeah. All right. So this business got so many shitty reviews. As you can see here, that uh, you can see there's 37 one-star reviews. Now, from one of the lens lickers, Brooklyn Raider, critical professionalism, disgusting behavior by an owner of this company that grabs his private area with no regard to women or children walking by in the street. The fuck is he talking about? Like, And how can you trust the judgment of this company with your business when they act like blah, blah, blah? Saw an individual who works for this company curse at someone and grab his junk on camera for no reason. I've never been to this establishment, but the amount of hate this individual portrayed tells me not to even consider this place as an option. And it just went on and on yeah. and on and on. There's 37 reviews just like that. So these are fake reviews that have nothing to do with the business. Yeah, somebody was asking what type of business is it? It's, uh, it's a contractor. So, okay. so, so here's the thing. They're probably missing out on a bunch of huge contracts because let's say you miss out on one customer and the customer was going to be for a hundred K. It was a huge project. Like that's fucking huge. That's a big deal. And that company cannot operate right now because any customer that goes on Google and, and sees they're at like 1.2 star. Uh, oh yeah. Let me just yeah get rid out ban this stupid motherfucker there you go you're gone racist piece of shit go fuck yourself so um yeah so that company cannot operate anymore because eli ruined all their reviews they're sitting at literally 1.2 stars and none of the people that reviewed it has ever used their services so he spawned a bunch of fake ass bs reviews just because he got pissed off with the owner's First Amendment right. Like, let that sink in for a second. He was so pissed off by the owner's First Amendment that he decided to destroy his company. So now it's time to pay up. So let me keep playing. 
So you're... wait, it was that guy who came. Yeah, up. they could, they can get false, re uh, fake reviews. But this has been a, this has been maybe a month or so, a couple months, and it's still there. It's not as easy as it seems. You have to contact Google, prove that they're false. And now I guess the owner was pissed. He's out on so much money. So now, um, you know, that's it. He's suing Eli for five million bucks. And this is the thing: these defamation lawsuits. Eli is so fucked. He oh, is so absolutely. he's so incredibly fucked, guys. It's, it's gonna on be video. Yeah, <laughs> it's on video. It's him threatening. It's him giving the instructions on how to destroy that that business's reputation. And then the people actually did it. He is so fucked. He has no chance of defending this. And even if he manages to defend it to some extent, it's going to be extremely expensive. Um, but yeah, here you can. That's the thing. For defamation, you have to prove there's monetary loss. But this is going to be very easy to prove. Let's say they were averaging five new customers per month. And then after this, they're averaging one. Then they can sue for the amount of the four customers over how many years, right? Yeah, and also it looks like it was possibly a new business. Yeah. So it's all like all potential customers that they could have had. Anyways. You yeah. Know, really. Well, well, Dawson, uh, Detrana, I do understand your point, but he instructed his minions, his brainless sheep, to do that. Exactly. So he is partially responsible for that and here's the thing even if he loses even if he loses yeah. and he it will cost him thousands tens yeah, of thousands of, money, of dollars Eli will have to pay for lawyers yeah to fight for yeah this. they're gonna at when this is all over they're gonna own everything here they're gonna own creepy david's hat yeah, his shirt they're gonna own creepy David's <laughs> yeah also. yo they're gonna own everything he owns he fucked up. He this is like one of the biggest fuck up. Uh, like this, if this goes, this is big, guys. Because if this goes through, let's say he loses and the judge says, "All right, five hundred thousand, you know, a more reasonable amount." But let's say it's a million or five hundred thousand. Then next time, what's up, Flat Derp? Nice to see you here. Next time, Amagansa Press does this to someone, then we can contact them and say, "Hey, you know what?" Uh, I know Amagansa Press is trying to destroy your business like he's done thousands of businesses. Here's a case out of New York where a business that had their reputation destroyed was able to sue the person that organized the review bombing and they won some money. And here's his name, Jason Gutter Trash. So that would be really awesome if it goes through. So, yeah, it is a big deal. It is a really big deal. Oh, yeah. Did you see Flat Derp's uh, video, uh, Nicole? Which one? Okay, so it's like DMA and AFA, and they're jerking each other off behind the table. Literally? Like, I, don't, I don't think I saw yeah, that it's. <laughs> I shared it. I'll show it to you later. It's funny shit, but uh, let's carry on. Acting crazy. Exactly. The one who was <laughs> holding his balls, sticking wow. out middle fingers, go wow. F yourself. He thought he was in CB4. Wait, so wait, let me get this clear. Let me nah, get this he, clear. He, 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 he didn't know it was the people's guy. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's run it back. Yes. So you went to give the people a tour over there. Yes. You came across this building or business. No, let me let me just give you a court or a little short of a rundown. detail mm -hmm. rundown of what Recap. really happened. Yes. Okay. At the end of the tour, I pulled up to the precinct, um, making sure that they have the. He, he's like, "Shut up, bitch! You don't yeah, know what you're talking place. about." He's like, Shut up. <laughs> stay in your place. Yeah, stay in your lane. You're just the pretty face. You're just supposed to stay there and sit pretty. <laughs> yeah. Because it's definitely not this. That's not the pretty face on the panel. Yeah, sure. Available for the public, for the people. Everything went well, my people. I was able to record inside the precinct. Um, they didn't have the complaint forms in the lobby, but they made some copies and they were going to um, make sure that they were available for the public in the nearby future. They had to speak to the sergeant or something, I think. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. But after I was done with that, um, I think um, <laughs> there's a fire station right next to the precinct. The stupid bitch in the middle is Eli's sister, so she's the one that were that was e bagging and shit while um, while Eli was in jail. She's like, "Come on, give him money. He needs money for commissary and shit." And then all his brain dead sheep sent money over. Yeah, that's his sister. And um, I think the police was called. 
because I was recording. Police came. Um, that was the guy that asked me if I needed a translator. For those of you who've wow. seen the video, mm, and wow. um, it was a short wow. interaction. It was a short interaction. He tried to be a little um smart ass. Thought he but, was funny. Exactly, but um, nothing big happened. And he left, and as soon as he was leaving, I have this guy standing in front of this um building talking about what are you recording? Fuck off my face! Blah 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 blah. You know, out of the nowhere. Out of nowhere, I was about to end the video. So I'm Darren. like, right. and then here he comes. So I'm like, who are you? Sounds like a Darren to me. Fuck <laughs> off, middle finger. Hold his balls in front of the camera. I'm like, whoa, 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 For whoa, what hold reason? up. reason? And right behind them, we he have... He wanted to go worldwide. He exactly. probably was, he's probably a con artist. He's probably was looking for a fucking lawsuit. <laughs> like, what? Let me jump on this guy's camera. So, no, listen, listen. So they are um, alleging that their logo, the logo of the company came out in the video. Mm. So that's one of their allegations. They're trademarking it. The trademark. That's public. You can see it from the from the sidewalk. Literally. That's what it's there for. So if I go over there right now and record their five logo. millions. Five million. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, so the first thing they did was um they 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 um contacted Google and um because you guys have been supporting very much and i really love it and appreciate it but Shout thanks. Out to you. exactly Shout so out to um thanks people. to the transparency and mm -hmm. to the people to the power of the people you guys went to google and made complaints and exposed on his behavior he, he he's just burying himself like he literally is just making the guy's case out with his own words he said thanks to you guys you went over there and you exposed the company implying that you left a bunch of yeah. zero star reviews you're so stupid, Eli. You're fucking yourself even more. Like, dude, you're so fucked and you, you just keep digging. You just keep digging. You're giving these people an extra shovel. You are so fucked, man. Let How the often the do you think uh, Creepy David does his eyebrows? Oh, I, it's definitely a daily, yeah. daily event. I mean, yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. He spends a couple hours in front of yeah, the mirror like trying to look. It's animal. like Zoolander. He's practicing the yeah, look. He's, <laughs> he's practicing yeah. that look. He's oh my god! It's not working for you, David. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, know about how um how they're how unprofessional their employees are at the company. Um. And I want to let them know that you guys didn't do anything bad. It wasn't like... Yes, you did something bad. But you're right, Wes. Unless I'm mistaken, it's targeted harassment. So on the criminal side, I'm not too sure if if the person would be able to press charges. Because, yeah, that is targeted harassment. Saying, I'm going to fuck over your business and actually pulling off the, the fucking of the business. That's targeted harassment. So... So, yeah, I don't know if maybe there's a case there. I'm not too sure. But the defamation and loss of income, that's that's 100. Like, that's for sure. It's the wrong thing to do. It's not the wrong thing to do because that's what Google um, reviews are there for. Yes, right. But exactly. it, it looks like this company has never, never took a hit from Google review. Like it, That's not what Google review are there for. It's there for people that actually use the services. <laughs> yeah. And then after you've used it, then you can leave a review. Not for some people halfway across... You know, America that's never used it, but they see one video from little douchebag over here, and then they leave a zero star review. That's not what it's for. They they only, you know what I'm saying? They only um, they've never had negative comments like it's, this. At least Eli, at this yeah, level, yeah, you know, Eli. At, at least at, at this um level, they never had it, and now they are feeling that their company. It's going down because the people are complaining because and they have an employee who doesn't know claiming, how to behave. They're claiming so they're claiming that their business went down due to the people's complaints and um they need five million dollars but where they I, currently have one star too exactly and it's because of you down. you're gonna have half yeah. a star stop playing man. <laughs> and, and now he's doubling down on it he's doubling down on what he's been doing the guy is such an idiot. They don't even know what they did instead of you exactly. know what I'm saying now they're gonna be exposed 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 <laughs> yeah, my peeps. But um, like I was saying, they tried um contacting Google, Google um, so Google could remove all the reviews and and give them a fresh start. Um, it was denied. They contacted YouTube, so YouTube could remove the video. Um, it was denied, and um, since those uh, attempts were denied, that's when they took the the step of um suing litigation. Exactly. That's for, crazy. For five million dollars, my peeps. He want 
me, Google, YouTube to give him five million dollars because yep. he feeling some type of way because he exposed himself. At, uh, you know what I'm saying? It was what can we do, my people? Yo, Eli, I've seen a lot of people feel a lot of different type of ways in your videos. This is the now, biggest. But that's hurt. not his This fault. is the biggest felt some type like, of way I've ever seen. Five million dollars. Yeah. No, no, nah, no, nah, it's not only five. Five milli. Plus interest. Plus interest. For real, it literally says Plus that. Plus interest. No, not there yet. Plus lawyer's fees. Plus lawyer's fees. <laughs> Where's it going to yeah, be? Yeah, Tube Sock. I don't think it's necessary to contact the company. I'm sure they're watching his channel like a hawk. And this is on his second channel. But, uh, yeah. Well, maybe it's worth an email. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's worth an email, but I'm sure they're watching his channel like a hawk. He posted a teaser about this, and and obviously they they hired lawyers to file this. You know, it's a five million dollar lawsuit, and I'm sure the lawyers are fully aware. But yeah, if, if you guys want, it's worth an email. You can contact me behind the scenes, and we we'll, can do that. <laughs> like, come on. So um, I'm not. You know, I'm. They I'm not to gonna. Give everybody, a piece of that pie. I ain't mm-hmm. never gonna stress that. Um, they're just giving me more content and more ways to expose them. So, um, expect a whole journey about this process, my peeps. They're really exposing themselves. Exactly. Exactly. You feel me? And expect me. I'll probably pull up again. You feel me? Get a chair, drink a cup of coffee in front of the business. You feel me? Because it has nothing to do with the business. I'm in public. Like, the video wasn't focused on the business until he popped up. Uh huh. So when when I was reading the paperwork that had typos, by the way. Typos. Yeah, yeah, you got to do that over. I, oh yes. Um. By the way, part. I was I was served, and um, let's just give it a couple of minutes. So you guys, it was like two or two or three minute video, so we can watch it together, and um, you guys can see it looks like the attorney hired a private investigator, and they mm-hmm. came knocking my door and served me the the lawsuit paperwork. So here's the video. <laughs> All right. So so in this video, you're gonna just see how stupid Eli is. Because Eli is such a moron that he doesn't understand that the person in front of him is a process server. And does it, it's like he's so used to dealing with cops. He doesn't understand what a process server is. He thinks it's like cops that they have a manager and he can have a Karen meltdown. No, it's not like that. So check this out. Okay. Okay, I have to record to the people that I know. What's your name? Charlie. Charlie. Uh, Charlie. You're you're an investigator, you said? Yeah, I'm dropping off that paper. It's uh, for a lawsuit. Okay. Do, um, do you mind just signing it? Who's 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 suing me? Uh, the lawyer's name is on the back here. Okay, so I'm what we can up. see, he's still in that building. Remember when the FBI yeah. showed up? Yeah. It's the same building. So yeah, he hasn't moved. My friend. No problem. Is the phone number and contact information on there? Who's? But you gave you gave me the lawyer's name. Yeah, it's over here. Taconic Who's Builders. Who's lawyer? Who's lawyer? Taconic Builders. The perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great, great. Okay, no problem. Yeah, it was a little bit. And you are working. I just told you, I'm an investigator. For what city? For what state? For what? New York State. So you work for the city? No, I work for the state. I'm an investigator, a private investigator. For the state? No, I'm a private investigator licensed by the state. Okay, so you yeah. work privately, not for the yeah, state. Yeah, yeah, private Okay, state. no problem. So no, I'm just, yeah. I wasn't, where's no, that I'm, footage I'm, going? I'm video. Yeah, yeah. For my own protection that, you know, that I proved that I was here. To get where's that papers. footage going? No, I, that's, I'm keeping it, yeah. That footage is going in his records, you piece of shit, you moron. You can't FOIA it, or FOIL, actually, because it's in New York. You cannot FOIL it. Because he's not a public servant, <laughs> you moron. Where can I request that? Hmm? Where can I request that? Well, you, can, you can request it. Where? You can request it from the law firm. Where do you work? I want to know where you work. I work for myself. Where? Hmm? Where are you located at? Um, would you mind signing off on this that you got it? I need to know who you are, though. I told you who I am. Where are you located at? Where is your office or building or... I, I need to know who I'm speaking to, sir. I told you I am. Exactly. Now I need to know where your bees at. Where, you where are you at? located? Where your bees at? Oh my god. I'm in the city. Where's your office? Of work. Office. I don't have an office. You don't have an office? No, I work out of my house. 
Oh, you work out of your house? Yes. Okay, no problem. Like you work out of your house, so. No yeah, problem. that's true. Even if this guy had an <clears throat> office, why would he would tell you? I never told you I work out of my house. For real. Why to come harass oh, him? Okay, for yeah. real. Whatever. Let me see. So if I don't sign it, what happens? Nothing. I mean, it's just common courtesy. No, no, I'm not signing that. Uh, may I see your ID? ID? Yeah. You have to be insane to ask me for ID if you know who I am. You know who you just said the people's guy. Yeah. Exactly. So how are you asking me for ID? You know I don't provide ID unless I commit a crime. Okay. To the well, police. Have a good night. Yeah, I don't know why the process server asked for his ID. I mean, it's uh okay. Maybe he wanted to confirm who he's giving yeah. the papers to, but it's was, yeah, was yeah, you're right. Fraud is exposed. Uh, yeah, Mark says, yeah, he has the right to get the body cam footage as part of the civil case. Yeah, it's just that Eli thought it was going to be like cops body cam where he can go to like the police station, write a FOIL request, and then that's it. He gets it. But no, it's not like that. But yeah, even if he wants it, it's like there's nothing on the body cam footage. Who cares, man? He got served fair and square. It's yeah, and over. He's recording as well. So yeah, he's recording as well. He recorded him getting served so he can't deny that he got served is it it really dumb and we're back my peeps so um we're as back. you as you saw um my guy came knocked on the door um crazy didn't sir. even know what he was talking he was about trying to root. he didn't want to he didn't want to identify himself either, no no so yeah, that, yeah he didn't want to tell me where he was located at. he was he was trying to beat him oh, on the bush he that was one. asking for because he doesn't have to dude he doesn't have to he served you and that's all you need to know I did, as you guys just saw like that's crazy and um it looks like who he did, are you he did his homework he pulled up um and um, like he said, he is just uh, the messenger, my page. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So wait, um, I have a question. So I thought you had to be part of like the federal, um, I guess a federal <laughs> unit to be served. Any investigator could just come to your house and you serve. Can have, you. you can have a friend. <laughs> yes, <well>, of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, like, yes, Tom. Like, bitch, I think you should keep yeah. your mouth yeah. shut. Like, you're just sounding stupid. Like, you have to be part of the federal unit to get served. Like what? Oh my God, she is pointless. <laughs> she is completely pointless. Because of course, Sorry, it's man. not. A, it's not. It's not like a criminal. So anybody could just find my information and just come serve me. Not anybody. It'll be uh, a private investigator who knows to do his homework. Well, you know what I'm a, saying? So it'll be, it's not too hard to find people's information. And, True. And we're public. And I'm we're the people's guy, so, so there's nothing secret about me. My people, yeah, you feel me? So. We're public figures, so it's easy. Yeah, so whatever happens, I'm going to let you guys know uh, as usual, you know, anything that happens. So I'm Como not hiding siempre. from nobody. I'm <laughs> not hiding from nobody. I will never hide. Um, I die for what I do, and I'm going to stand on my ground. Um, We're going to keep moving forward. Um, Word. They said I have to contact Literally. the lawyer mm -hmm. because there's no court dates here. There's no seals either. Yeah, I was just going to ask you, what's the next step? There's no court dates And that has a typo, so that can't be valid with a typo. In I it. have like, no how clue. But it says, it, says, it says Westchester County Clerk. You got to tell him to retype that. Anything with um, a typo, you don't have to sign that shit. It has a typo in it. It says it was received 8-1. August 1st? August 1st. I received it uh, the 13th. Of October. Of October. Of, yeah, October 13th, I received it, which so it was two months a later. Friday. Of, exactly, two months later. But it says it has to be answered within 30 days. So make so that make sense. So I'm a little confused, but then we have another date here that says... Of, of course he's confused. So he has 30 days to answer, and if he doesn't answer after 30 days, then he's going to be put in default, <laughs> and then he's going to have a default judgment against him. So he is fucked. He he needs to hire an attorney immediately because clearly he, he can't figure it out by himself. Yeah, he, no he doesn't even sure. know what kind of shit he's in. He doesn't even know the pile of shit he made for himself. Made on July. So I think the complaint was made in July, but then the actual lawsuit was made on... Um, but my, okay, but my thing is, how are you going to sue somebody for exposing what's wrong with your business with and your employees and you don't want to expose yourself it's like, your behavior i don't understand you made the mistake <laughs> if if he would have just said like oh you know you're stupid why are you put why are you grabbing your junk then that would have been one thing but now yeah. he's like you have google reviews 
all right, watch this. You're going to get a bunch of bad Google reviews. And then the bad Google reviews happen. That was a bad move, Eli. Yeah. Yeah. That was a really bad move. Because you so said change like, your employees, my G. You feel me? Oh, right. oh, but um, there might be one thing. Um, If he's one of the owners, you can't change the employees. So That's the big fact. issue yeah. is going to come from the top. Sell the company. So now he's feeling some type of way. Then at that point, why well, are you running a business? As a businessman, you know that that's not customer service, and that's just bitch. Service? What are you talking about? Is he about? a customer? Did like, Eli come yeah, in there? What? Did Eli come in there say, "Hey, sir, I wanna, I wanna build a home. I wanna, or anything. Or anything. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> Eli was just God, there bro. recording him trying to create a confrontation. Like, oh my God, they're so out of their depth. They don't even understand what's happening right now. Uh, being professional well those are um some yeah. things that he has to change within himself and um so nicole do you, do you think she adds something to the live stream absolutely maybe a pretty face but i mean that's about it like, yeah absolutely nothing <laughs> he's aware of that but um but other... instead he wants five million dollars so but that's then again none that's, of them that's add anything yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, he's, just creepy David, so. yeah. he's just an ugly face but that's absolutely nothing a creepy face yeah <laughs> yeah it's like the creep factor goes up here that <laughs> the cringe <laughs> factor goes up here yeah, and then this face. The, yeah. the, the face palm factor goes yeah. up here <laughs> 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 it ain't gonna make him nothing because you think he's gonna get five million? Nah. nah How much you think he's gonna get? I mean, with the taxes, after taxes, after lawyer. Three years. cents. He's not gonna get nothing first. Yeah. Of all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys. Let's remember this. We're October 29th. Creepy David said he's not gonna get nothing from y'all. So let's remember that and let's see how that comment will age. Yeah. I can guarantee you it's going to age like a fine milk. Trust me. Me for the like, way you behave. Exactly. Because the people like... the people are giving you the feedback of your behavior and, and you feeling some type of way. What? Say word. And you want five milli? Because it made you lose revenue. But I mean... Who is gonna want to go to your business? I thought exactly. it said five thousand at first. Remember, it was like five thousand. Oh. Nah, we have too many zeros. Here. Nah, that's six zeros, bro. You heard. So the people's guys being sued for five million dollars. Stay tuned in. We're gonna give you more details as we do more um episodes yes. on the people's podcast. We're gonna show you more videos. Um, feel free to pull up and watch the video. It's in the link below. Um, of the actual incident that was about four months ago. What do you? guys think of like how music is now oh what kind of music what's your favorite let's start it what's your favorite genre of music see on the on the on the who you talking to you my my co my you talking to me yes. yeah what's your I, don't, I don't have a favorite have a <laughs> he's like are you trying to plow my sister what are you doing man why are you talking to her <laughs> he got so defensive yeah, yeah no, i feel no, like no, i no. like i'm very what is wrong with, like with them different yeah i don't have a favorite you know I, I like the messages in the music i like exactly. um, a music that really um brings a message and makes changes and make you think about you know that you can identify yourself with mm -hmm. I like music that's for the people. I like music that's made for. Who's your favorite artist? Uh, I have too many. Ooh. What about you, BB? Who's your favorite artist? Um, I would say you know I. Funny thing, I feel like people. I don't believe in favorite artists. Mm. I feel like you could like an artist for a very long time, and I have. Oh, we have uh, Z Gundam who donated. Let me scroll up. Five to Feeding America. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and like, you could dislike them too. Exactly. And or they could just stop doing music. Like you don't I feel like people Or they don't, could do a song that you don't like. Yeah, but I feel like people would like they be saying, Oh, this is my favorite artist, but like you will have new favorite artists in like the next five years. <laughs> so it's like, is that was that really your favorite artist? But so, I okay, would say so did Drake they just completely one. change subjects? Drake. You heard yeah, Drake. I think so. I like future. Me also. You heard. So shout out to all the artists, my yeah. peeps. My favorite genre of music. Yeah. Is classical music. 
spiritual shit. Yes. Yo, this was the people's podcast, my peeps. Hit that like. I'm gonna see you guys. No, don't hit the yeah. like. Okay, we're gonna go get our kids very soon. They're at their grandma's house, and I have a surprise for you guys. It's on my other channel, and it's dropping in five minutes. And it is a sovereign Karen. So let me explain to you this. There's sovereign citizens, and then there's Karens. And this one is a mix of both. So that's dropping in five minutes. We're going to wait till then, and I'll give you the link. But let's see Eli falling through a stage. I think that could be uh, funny. Yeah. Uh, let me just pull it up. Uh, Tube Sock just sent it to me. So we're going to... We're going to mute it because I don't want to play Eli's music. Yeah, it's going to be terrible. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not what I was, why I didn't want to play it, but uh, for copyright reasons, but I guess it will be terrible too. So we're just going to see him. Oh, uh, too bad. Uh, do we have like uh, circus music? Anyways, it would take too long to do yeah. it. It would, it would be good to put circus music in the background, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> Here, let me rewind. <laughs> That was hilarious. Here, let me rewind just a minute. So you'll see the stage. The stage is just a couple tables put together. They're who's not actually, even... Like, who's actually there? Like, it's in a basement. Uh-huh. It's in someone's house. Yeah, I can see the fence. Yeah. So look, he it's, it's just a couple tables. It's it's a really... Are they standing on tables? Well, yeah. Boom. All right. Okay. Look, you see that gap in between the two tables? They didn't even <laughs> bother. So oh, they could have wow. pushed this table a little bit more that to close that so gap. They didn't even bother. Yeah. yeah. I think this is the best way to uh, appreciate Eli's music on mute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They couldn't afford some play. <laughs> yeah. Look at this idiot. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> So dumb. They jump back. <laughs> he up jumped back up like, oh no, he rewinded it. Look, look at this moron. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh, while you're talking about that, while we're having a good time roasting Eli, let let's put let's put one of the OGs. I, hopefully, I didn't delete it after he did the. Okay, no, that one's still there. Let's find the one where he's on the train. That one's so funny. Matt, I don't know how it's going to take time to find it. Here, can you try looking for it on the phone? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so it's the one where he's on the train and he's looking all stupid. That would be funny to watch. That would be a good way. This is the one where the cop showed up at his house and he, he sent his wife. Yeah, remember this guy. Cops yeah. show up to his house. He sends his wife. I think to like I think in the middle of the night or something. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, he's like, I thought you guys were gonna shoot me. I sent my wife. <laughs> okay, is he home? I'm here. I'm here. What's up? How are you, Mr. Santos? Everything all right? What's going on? There's been numerous calls from your number to uh, dispatch. Yeah, th- number, this is a classic. If you guys haven't seen this one, but yeah, I want to see. No, that's not it. Where he he gets arrested in the train. Let me try to find it on his channel because that would be a very good way to finish the evening. Hold on. It's when he was in the he was in the subway and then he just gets tackled to the ground and they're like, yeah, they, they wouldn't put up with his shit anymore. But yeah, it might take too long to find it. Hold on. Yeah, I try to find it on my channel. You'll see his face and the the he's like on the floor. It's at least from a year ago because it was before he went to jail. Yeah, it's like the funniest video. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I I didn't know. Uh, I totally yeah, forgot about I this. Oh, there it is. There it is. Hold on. I think this is it. No, now he's underground, but that's not it. Yeah, he is an animal. Absolutely. He's a train wreck. Yeah. This guy, he's so racist. Like, because this guy's Asian, he's calling him Jackie Chan. His entire channel is trash. It's all trash. It's all trash. Like, I, I can't believe this is, like, monetized shit on YouTube. It's really ridiculous. Oh, who's the spammer? 
Huh? Where? No, Tom mentioned there's a spammer. Oh, okay. I don't know if there's mods in the chat. You're a mod. Cool. This guy, he got in a fight with a guy with a knife. Monetized shit. It's so weird. Every single video is about harassing people, beating people up. Yeah, all of them. It's, it's just trash. All trash. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to find it. I don't know. I can't find it. That's too bad. I really wanted to show that to you guys. It, it was the, one of the funniest arrests. Yeah, maybe he deleted it. Let me let me try to write subway or arrest. Maybe I should have went with that. He got arrested so many times. There's so many of them. Uh, yeah, I can't find it. My bad, guys. Yeah. All right. Okay. Anyways, we're going to head out. Uh, so let me give you guys the link to the, the Sovereign Karen telling you this guy is – this thing is funny as shit. All right, there it is. Mega Karen. Entitled Karen has temper tantrum during arrest. Let me give you guys the link. Here it is. I'm putting it right here. It's on Josh Prime 2. You guys are going to love this. Josh Prime 2. It just posted. All right. Let's see what's the grand total for how much we raised today. Give me a second. Grand total for how much. All right. 385 All right. bucks. That we must have missed some. If we missed yeah, some, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, if we missed some, shout out. I'm really sorry. It doesn't come up on Streamyard, but yeah, 385 bucks, and we're on day two of the yeah, fundraiser thank week. You so much. That is awesome. Very generous. So, yeah. Let's feed America. Awesome. So yeah, mm -hmm. we did some good today. Thank you guys for helping, and um, yeah, we're gonna go get our keys. And thank you so much. And we'll see you guys on the next one. On the next one. Bye.